the mesosphere. Now, there's not much we need to know about the mesosphere. The mesosphere is the layer above the stratosphere. And so as we're going away from the ozone layer, which is the spot that's absorbing a lot of that ultraviolet radiation and therefore is quite warm, as we move away from the, the ozone layer up through the mesosphere, it's going to get colder and colder because we're moving away from that uh, hot spot. Now, at this point, the atmosphere is getting pretty thin, but not as thin as it gets beyond this. And this is kind of the last point where there's enough friction to create much heat. So as a rock falls down through space, it'll go straight through the thermosphere, uh, pretty much not having any effect on it, but it starts getting enough friction at this point that it starts to uh, warm up that rock enough so it begins to glow, and we get a shooting star uh, like you see. So these tend to take place in the mesosphere. Of course, if the rock's big enough, it may continue on into the stratosphere and troposphere, and even many of them land on the Earth or some of them land on the Earth. Uh, and so that's uh, what you need to know about uh, mesosphere. It gets colder as it goes up, and uh, the air is just barely dense enough that you can get a shooting star.